which one can show you four in the hymnals, on the pink parts and the grass, and in our minds and hearts. I believe in God. church, that congregations be a home for the lost, a haven for the oppressed, and a source of healing for those broken by life's circumstances. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for new life springing forth from the earth, for those who are expecting babies, especially Jeff and Quinn Collins, Kristen and Peter Burns, Tommy and Molly Schoner, for those who are adopting children, and those who are unable to conceive. And we pray for Jennifer and Jonathan Pollock as they baptize their baby, Julian Charles, today. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for Christians who do not have the freedom to worship openly, for political prisoners, refugees, widows, and orphans. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for those who care for the weary and vulnerable, nurses, hospice workers, child care providers, doctors, and social workers. We pray for those in any need, especially Harry, Marguerite, Cynthia, Utah, those affected by the explosions in New York City. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for this assembly as it enters this Holy Week. Sustain our pastor, deacons, musicians, staff, volunteers, and all those who will prepare for and lead worship this week. Be with those on our vision team and search committees as they prayerfully lead us on a new journey and bring us all to the joy of Easter. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for those in our armed forces who are away from family and friends this Holy Week. Keep them safe in your loving care. Surround them with your strength and your protection. Lord, in your mercy. We give thanks for the blessed saints who showed us how to live and taught us how to die. Lord, in your mercy. And to your hands, O God of love, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy, in Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. And also with you. Share the peace with one
supper he took the cup gave thanks and gave it for all to drink saying this cup is the new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin do this for the remembrance of with this bread and cup we remember our Lord's Passover from death to life and together we proclaim the mystery of our faith Christ has died Christ is risen Christ will come again O God of resurrection and new life, pour out your Holy Spirit on us, and on these your own gifts to us of bread and wine. Bless this feast, grace our table with your presence. Come Holy Spirit. Reveal yourself to us in the breaking of the bread. Raise us up as the body of Christ for the sake of the world. Breathe new life into us, and then send us out burning with justice, peace, and love. Come Holy Spirit. With your holy ones of all times and places, with the earth and all its creatures, with sun and moon and stars, we too praise you, O God, blessed and holy Trinity, now and forever. Amen. We pray together as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us.
renew us in the gift of baptism, that we may provide for those who are poor, pray for those in need, fast from self-indulgence, and above all, that we may find our treasure in the life of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Good morning. Good morning. It's really nice to see you all here today. A blessed Palm Passion Sunday to you. A special welcome to our guests. A reminder to all of you that we do have fellowship time downstairs. If you'd like to come down and, and uh, grab a little something and have an opportunity to catch up with one another on your week. Indeed, God has accompanied us through the season of Lent, and we can see the end, right? The sun is coming up a week away um, on the horizon. And a reminder that we made a commitment. I made a commitment for you that we're going to invite lots of people to be here next Easter Sunday as we celebrate, make it, a, make it an event to which you invite friends on your Facebook page, people you meet. Um, be here next Sunday or wherever you are. Find yourself in worship and praise God for the wonderful miracle of God's overcoming love. Just a few brief announcements to share with you before I send you on your way. Um, thanks this morning to so many people who helped make the service uh, the meaningful expression that it was. Uh, the choir, the bells, uh, but I do want to thank Karen Nerman who puts so much effort and passion into making this service work and communicate what it intends to communicate. So thank you to all of you, but especially to Karen for her um, gifts for that. And again, to Lynn for the icon in the back. I hope you'll take note of that as you go out and as you hear throughout the week. We do have um, services Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at 7 o'clock. That's downstairs in the church library. It's a brief half-hour prayer service that you're welcome to join us for if you have the time and find yourself in the neighborhood. Um, very nice ways to get us into the spirit of Holy Week. And then on Monday, Thursday, this Thursday, and Good Friday, we have services at 7.30 both nights here in the sanctuary. I hope you'll find some time to join us for those worship services because they do have lots of meaning and uh, grace to communicate. Also on Good Friday, Emmanuel is hosting this year's ecumenical worship service. That's from 12 to 3. You can come for all or part. Our theme is Misunderstanding Jesus and the way those, um, especially around the crucifixion of Jesus, misunderstood who he was and what his purpose was and how that affects our own understanding of Jesus. So I invite you to any of those um, worship celebrations that you can make that the Holy Spirit guides you to. Um, today is the last day to order Easter flowers. The order form is in your bulletin. It has to be to Kathy so that she can place the order with the greenhouse tomorrow, first thing. So if you have, you don't have to pay yet. We know where you live, probably. We can find you. But um, if you just fill out the order form, place it in the offering envelope, give it to one of the ushers, make sure it's in Kathy's box in the middle office. We'll get those orders placed, and that would be much appreciated. Uh, I want to share a letter with you that we received from the Wartburg. It says, Dear Congregation of Emmanuel Lutheran Church, for nearly 150 years, the Wartburg has provided for families, first orphans, and now older adults whose health or circumstances led them here. When we receive a gift from our extended family, it affirms our mission to provide ministries of healing and hope through comprehensive services nurturing body, mind, and spirit. On behalf of all who will benefit from your generosity, please accept my gratitude for your contribution in memory of Arthur Eggensteiner. Your gift enabled us to care for our residents with the same dignity and grace that have inspired your generosity. This gift came from, uh, as, a, as an arrangement of the church council to the Wartburg in memory of my dad. I'm so grateful to Tony and the council for, for doing that and grateful to all of you for your generosity and for this very nice memorial that will make a difference. So I wanted to share that with all of you. My thanks. Are there other announcements that need to be shared this morning? Irene. Yeah, I would like to thank everybody for all this uh, household goods that you don donated to the veterans. Uh, George and I took the van and pulled and filled it and brought it over to the veterans, and they were very grateful for that. Um, I had a, the saying came to me this week that um, if you look for the word awesome in the dictionary, you would find your picture. So, thank you. Thank you for Yes. It's going to be my birthday on Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday. Nice. You have a wonderful birthday. You're going to be 12? Yeah. Beautiful. Keep on growing. You're doing a great job. You're very well loved, too. Nice. We'll be thinking of you on your birthday. 
birthday. Other announcements? Beata. So we're going to gather outside after worship next Sunday for a picture before the Easter egg hunt, right? And then you can come inside, and there, the council is providing refreshments for everybody to celebrate Easter. So lots of good stuff going on next week. Um, Ingrid, did you have an announcement you wanted to share? Yeah, I want to pray for my son, Corey, on the very bad line. Oh, okay. Yes, we're keeping our prayers. Yes, Glenn. If you would, please, healing or prayer for comfort for my mother. She's been battling with lung cancer for quite a while. And I can't keep away. <coughs> Absolutely. Sorry to hear that. Anything else? Okay, then my last announcement is that we are going to attempt to lead the worship in silence after our closing hymn. It's an indication of our uh, respect for the gift of Christ on the cross and that this service really continues through the week to find its conclusion next Sunday. So as you are able, we're going to try and leave in silence and then gather downstairs so you can have your conversation with them. I'd invite you to stand so that I might bless you. The blessing of God Almighty, the wisdom and power of Christ Jesus, and the light of the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Our setting song is number 353.